Hey Pokédad fan club, it's me Pokédad and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I was kind of inspired by Tablemon, many of you know him, he's a really top level um, player and YouTuber and streamer and so he's been doing, he did uh, 12 battles with Rayquaza, Garb and, and with other decks and so I thought I would try something like that myself. Um, typically most of you know that I tend to play decks that are um, a little more counter meta or maybe a little um, less mainstream and so there was a couple decks from ARG um, Invitational that caught my eye and so what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd go over the deck real quickly and then maybe we'd get um, some battles in and I'll probably split it up over a couple videos um, and we'll just see how the deck runs um, maybe analyze some of its strengths and weaknesses and talk about possible changes at the end uh, but anyway so this one is Buzzwool Garb but it's baby Buzzwool and Garbotoxin only has one it's mostly focused on Trash Lanch and I think because of Rayquaza being in the format um, Trash Lanch has got to be one of those options to help counter Rayquaza. So we've kind of got Buzzwall to help us with the Zoroark matchups. And then we've got uh, Garb to help us with the Buzzwall matchups and the Rayquaza matchups. And then we've got a few other things in here. We've got a Celesteela to, uh, if we can happen to hit that nice turn uh, where we can hit six prizes. We can uh, attach either Beast or Rainbow Energy and do a lot of damage, um, usually trading a one prize attacker for a two prize attacker. Uh, and then we're playing Shrine of Punishment in here. So um, we're, the idea is, is we're going to try to take out two prize attackers and just try to out uh, win the prize trade here and, and win the game that way. So without uh, further ado, I'll go ahead and get us into a couple battles and uh, we'll see how the deck runs. Uh, I've tested a few games with it and when it when it runs hot it runs really good but there are other times where you hit the wrong energy at the wrong time and uh, so then it doesn't quite uh, go like you had planned. But uh, anyway, we'll give it a shot. What I'll do is probably split this over two videos, and we'll, maybe we'll do uh, three three um, battles, and then maybe we'll do another three on the next video, something like that. If it goes quick, maybe we'll even do more than three, um, but we'll see how it goes. And I don't know if the, is this Aura Bomb the the YouTuber. Uh, I'm not sure if that's his, him, or if it's just uh, someone else trying to pose as him. Uh, but anyway, we've got a pretty good setup here. Um, we've got uh, two baby buzz and a trubbish, so that's good. And looks like we're going against Tapabulu. This could be a problem. Um, hopefully, Shrine of Punishment can help us, and Garbotoxin will actually be important in this matchup for us so uh, we'll want to try to find that as quickly as possible so it looks like he got off to a really good start um, getting two grubbins down is very very important um, we'll go ahead and attach float here attach choice band here play our shrine and unfortunately we've got to end here so All right, and we get a pretty good, it's a pretty good turn right here. Uh, we'll attach strong energy, play another Trubbish down, play that Diancy down to get some more damage, and we will then Sledgehammer here. And Sledgehammer for 100 plus the Shrine of Punishment gives another 10, so not bad. That's a pretty good first turn. Now, if he gets the Vicavolt online here, though, he can heal all that damage off with his GX attack. But we put in pretty good pressure on that first turn. 
So he gets another uh, Bulu down. This Ultra Ball is probably going to go for, yeah, a Vicavolt. He threw two Volkners away. So that tells me that he has Rare Candy in hand. And then he's probably got a draw supporter for the turn. So he's probably looking at... Uh, oh, he's got um, Tapu Lele. Now one thing we want to do is keep um, keep tabs of his item card. So he has got three items in the discard pile so far. And we do see him healing off the damage. So he uses the Tapu Wilderness GX attack. All right, and we'll promote. He will get, he'll get some Shrine of Punishment damage here, and um, I think, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and play the special charge because I really don't want to draw back into it, and I would prefer to draw into the, another strong energy. There's nothing else here that I really want to play, so we'll just in again, and unfortunately, the in is pretty bad. I'd rather have a sycamore but it does look like uh, we've got a decent hand once again question is is do we want to try to get garbotoxin online here um i don't think so so i think i'm just going to go in and hit this tapu bulu really hard again um we could possibly get the Garbotoxin online, but I'm going to hold off. Um, or am I? If I get the Gar... Uh, I don't know. That's a tough choice. Maybe I should. I can instruct for two more, but... Man, this is a really tr tough choice. I'm just going to Sledgehammer here. Shrine of Punishment is putting in some, some work for us, so that's good. Ideally, we want to find another Baby Buzzwool. Um, because our Sledgehammer turn is coming up. So, um, he's getting another Vicavolt, which is fine. Um... I do like the fact that he's playing more items. That's good. He's going to strong charge again here. Um, maybe we go for another Buzzwool here. Um, so he's got the Nature's Judgment. And he has to discard, which is pretty interesting. Okay. So let's just see what we top deck here. Very interesting. Alright. I do think since I'm... Well, my sledgehammer turn isn't super important here. Um, so we could trash a lanch for a knockout. Um, we can guarantee the trash a lanch. We've got one, two, three, four. So that would be 80 damage. Oh boy, I am not sure that this is the right play, but I'm going to go ahead and grab another Buzzwool here. We do have Garbotoxin in. We could grab Garbotoxin, but we that I'm just yeah we're gonna get Garbotoxin and we are going to we'll Orangaroo here for one and uh, see what we get. Hopefully it's something good. It's a copycat, okay. So copycat allows us to keep an extra draw supporter and we get to draw seven. So I think that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna copycat here. Oh, and we whiff. We whiff pretty badly. Um Uh, do, do, do. I don't know what to say. Um, the thing is, is does he have a way to... I think what we do is we retreat into a Rangaroo. 
and I'll go ahead and attach to Diancy here and then I'll hit done um, we took a chance we shut off abilities and right now we're not in a great position and this is one of the things about this deck that kind of um, trouble was in. we'll feed him the Diancy here I'm okay with that He's playing more um, item cards for us, so that's good. And uh, we still have potential to, you know, with the Shrine of Punishment putting damage on the field, uh, we have a potential to take some more knockouts. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six items, that's 120 with Shrine. So if we could top deck um, an Ultra Ball here, or um, or something along those lines, uh, we could indeed take a knockout with Trash Alanche on this Bulu. Um, he is using Energy Recycler, so he is using um, more items, which is good. And then Nature's Judgment here hits us. Alright, so what is our top deck going to be here? And the Shrine is continuing to do damage, which is good. It is a Trubbish, unfortunately. So we are kind of in a bad spot here. Um, I think maybe we can just Guzma stall here? I think that's what I want to do. So yeah, we'll Guzma stall on the Vicavolt. And um, I will... Uh, he may have a Guzma himself. Um, so we'll just hit done. We'll continue to let the Shrine of Punishment do its work. And we'll hope that we can top deck out of this soon. It's another energy on another Bulu. Good thing is, is yeah, I figured he would probably have, um, the, the, the Guzma here, which is unfortunate. Uh, we will promote a Trubbish. Okay, and that is not a great top deck for us, so we're going to Guzma again. Um, put up the other Trubbish. Um... I guess we'll hit done here. We do take a knockout on the Bulu, so that's good. There we go. We get some more. Get a draw supporter off that. Um, but I think it might be too little, too late here. He's now got his strong charge abilities back, and we just, with him taking a prize every turn. Um, it's kind of problematic for us. He's going to retreat. And he's going to judge us. Great. Just when we got what we needed, he judges us. But at least we've got the Orangaroo. So, um, gets another Vicavolt in play. And he's going to use Strong Charge again. It's going to take the knockout with the Vicka Volt. I don't know that I agree with that play. 
I think that's a misplay to be honest with you. Um, but we will use it anyway. Well, I mean, well, he's. Uh, going to still blow the stadium, put the other stadium back up, and then Ultra Ball, and we'll grab another Orangaroo. And it is just unfortunate, but it looks like. This is kind of the problems I've seen with the deck is it just seems like you get stuck in a dead draw and there's really no way out of it. Um, yeah, I guess we want to try to get the Garbo Toxin back online. Oh yeah, actually we can get the Garbo Toxin back online. Um, boy. Our, it's, this is really bad though. We're gonna instruct for another one. Oh. We get a trash lanch. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, so. We're gonna hit done. And we're gonna hope that our opponent does not have Guzma. many energies is he probably running they typically run what 12 so they run 12 and we just are dead drawn so if he has energy but he's got one two three four four he does have the energy one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11. All right. So good game to our opponent. Um, I don't know if that's the real Aura Bomb, but if it's if it is you, bud, good, good, uh, good game. Um, again, I, I'm. This is what I've been finding with the deck is that it just you get the wrong stuff at the wrong time, you know. Um, anyway. We're going to go two more games and we'll see how it performs. Looking at a Psychic, Metal, and Dark. Um, I have not seen a lot of Zorark in the past couple of days on the ladder. And it makes me wonder if, depending on what deck you play, if the computer puts you up against something that you wouldn't normally go up against. Um, because when I change to a different deck, then I get I tend to get a bunch of Zorarks. I'm going to go ahead and put the Celesteela down. I don't know if it's the right play or not. Um, but it looks like our opponent gets a mulligan, so we will at least get to see what he's playing. Uh, oh boy, Missing Clovers. This looks like a very intriguing deck. I have to admit this... I'm, I want to. I'm kind of, in, kind of intrigued to see what this is gonna be, and it is a Zorark deck, so we get a pretty decent start. Um, part of me wants to. Hmm. Part of me wants to hold this hand. And the reason, my thinking behind this is if he's playing Enhanced Hammer, I'd rather him Enhanced Hammer the Rainbow Energy, I think. And then we can come in with a Knockout next turn. And I don't really want to play the Shrine because he may feel blower that away. We'd at least like it to get, um, potentially have some damage. I will probably play it next turn though, because especially if he Lele's for a Bridget right here, um, okay, so he has the natural Bridget, so we won't see a Lele, but if he can't get rid of the Shrine 
at the end of next turn, then he'll probably have evolved into Zoroarks and and so but he'll probably but they usually play a lot of counter stadiums and they play field blowers, so there's a lot of outs to it. We are playing four shrines though, so we have a shot. Um anyway, so he's bridgeting. I mean I think it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it looks like a control variant with um clovers in it. Okay, and he uses Cartana to go ahead and take the uh, rainbow off and I'm actually that's kind of what I was trying to get him to do so we'll go ahead and play the Shrine of Punishment and we'll Cynthia here and we can evolve into Trash Lanch if we want to but I think maybe just getting a Ranguru is better here so yeah well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I, I do think the Shrine's are going to be decent for us so we'll go ahead and grab a Ranguru and we'll instruct here for one I guess I'll put the float stone on Celestila and we'll instruct for one here and we'll get a Cynthia that's nice and then we'll sledgehammer taking a knockout and we'll grab a prize and we got a Guzma so we could potentially take another knockout on one of these other Zeruas, which that doesn't seem like a too bad to me. And of course the Cartana does take 10 damage from the Shrine of Punishment. So I'm cool. I like that too. Um, of course we do see the Field Blower coming down right away. That probably means we're going to be going into a Cynthia turn, but I do have another Shrine to replace this. Um, and is it possible that we could take a KO on a Zorark? Um, a Zorark is 210, we're doing 30, 50, 70, 70 and a choice band's 100 with Diancie is 120. So that, if he evolves this Zorark, this Zoru into a Zorark GX, uh, there's a good chance that I'll go ahead and commit this energy to... Um, Buzzwool and actually we don't even need Diancy we just need Shrine we just need uh, Choice Band because Shrine will do the additional two damage we see another uh, tent additional damage counter sorry we see a Tapalele come down grabbing a Cynthia um, so he must be stuck he does have a DCE here and a Cynthia is he playing Devoured Field or um, anything like that? So he gets... Alright, so we got another Zora coming. Alright, we see a trade coming. So he's trading his Field Blower away. That's, that's good. But of course they play puzzles so they can get the Field Blower back. But I'm okay with them spending their puzzles on Field Blower. Because then they're not spending it on uh, energies or on disruption cards um, so that seems fine he only hits us for a hundred here so we're gonna be able to do some major damage to this um, Zorark we'll go ahead and play the shrine um, and then we'll go ahead and put another float stone on Celestila and we'll instruct for one here and we hit that choice band. Oh, beautiful. And we'll... Cynthia. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and put another Buzzwool down. And do we want to evolve into the Garboder? Um, probably. We'll go ahead and do that. And we will Sledgehammer here for the knockout. No! Oh yeah, sure. with the shrine it'll do the knockout. Yeah, I, I thought I had mathed right there, and it was with the shrine that. So it actually happened in between turns. Good thing because Diancy was actually prized here for us. But now, if we can find another strong energy, okay, looks like he's promoting um, Tapu Lele. That is fine with us. He's using Gladion as his supporter for turn, so that's interesting. Maybe he knows he has a DCE in there. And he's going to use that to take a knockout. And that is totally fine. Um, I mean, I expect Buzzwolves 
when I'm taking three prizes, one Buzz Bowl, and he's only taking uh, one, we're very, very happy with that result. Um, now, as far as items go, he's got five, six, seven in the discard already, so that's good. So seven, that's 140. Oh, he does change the stadium here. Um, I think I'm gonna have to just let the Celestila go. Um, I think everything else should be fine for us. Um, he takes the knockout and I'm not sure who to promote here. Um, I think we'll promote Buzzwell just because I have more outs to hitting the right energy with him. Um, so I want to, I think I want to use Ooh, well, I've got a Sycamore here, and I've got an N, but I really don't want an N, so I'm probably going to lose the Phil Blowers anyway. So we'll just go ahead and change Stadium, and then we'll put another Trubbish down, put the Diancy down, and I think we'll just Sycamore here. We just need to find an energy. Oh, and see, this is, this is the problem I have with the deck. Oh... We whiffed the energies. Um, and we can't even really get down to a point where we can use them. So we are going to hit done. I want to. I, I, there's a good chance we may see another parallel city come down. Um, so for that reason, I'm not going to bench anything else because at this point, I'm already going to have to give something up. Um, the good news is if we do see a parallel, we can fill blower it. Um, but right now, see that, that was a bad turn for us. Um, fortunately we're ahead on prizes, so maybe we can catch up, but we have three energies in the discard. We play nine only. Um, we see some trades coming. Zorark doing typical Zorark things. Um, the good news about Buzzwool is, unless they're playing Devoured Field, they really can't one-shot the Buzzwool. Um, so that's a good thing. So what does our opponent do next? So he's playing Cartana. Is he going to use the GX attack? He's going to Guzma. He's going to Guzma up Diancy. Okay. And then he's going to Blade GX. Okay. And take a prize. And then Shrine of Punishment will continue to come in. We can top deck some kind of energy. We did top deck some energy. So let's look at what we've got. We've got um, 30, 50, 70, 140 to a, to a Zorark. Um, is that our best play? I kind of think it is because the one thing I don't want him to do is use Gale Blade and get this thing off the field. So it would require, well, require not too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this, I think. And unfortunately it's not a lot, but we'll still sledgehammer here. Oh wait, what? 320 oh I'm on my oh he took duh he took the he took the prize off of blade GX I'm on my sledgehammer turn wow that was I really overthought that guys wow I forgot for some reason it didn't register to me that he took a prize and so I just just sledgehammered him for a ton <laughs> Wow, I should have taken up the other Zorark. All right, well, anyway, at least I'm having a good laugh. And hey, good, we got an end, but at least we have the Orangaroo here. 
Um, this is the problem though I'm scared about is these last couple turns. Um, fortunately, he still does have to take four prizes. But he also has some shenanigans I can see. However, if he doesn't... Like, this is a knockout right here. Okay, he is going to get the... Get the the uh, Kartana off the field. That's what I was expecting him to do. But he doesn't take a knockout. So now, he... Anything he promotes, he loses. So, we'll give him a well-played... Um, and I'm not gonna take, I'm just gonna, and that is, we won, hey, we beat a Zorark deck, guys, um, pretty interesting, alright, so we're one and one with this, uh, one and one with this deck, uh, we'll, let's go ahead and try to get one more in, this is pretty fun, I like doing these, uh, I hope you guys do too. Tell me what, what your thoughts of um, this format. I also am going to really be focusing on uh, some other Worlds decks this week and next week. Um, but I'll also be starting to do some expanded because I have an expanded League Challenge coming up. I'm not going to the uh, Nashville Open unfortunately. And during that same weekend is an expanded League Cup, a League Challenge. Not a big deal. But some people do have uh, expanded stuff that they want to do. And I notice in the YouTube community that we, we don't have a lot of people going over expanded content. And so I thought, you know, why not? Let's, um, let's focus on expanded a little bit more. I really don't like this hand um, because... I can get a buzzwall, but I'm gonna have to sacrifice something that I really don't want to have to sacrifice. Um, and it's probably going to be. Um, it's gonna have to be at least one choice ban. We'll see what we top deck though. We might get we might get um, away with just being able to sacrifice one choice ban. I really don't want to have to sacrifice the shrine. If I can help it. Okay, looks like we're looking at Zoro Control. Okay, that was a decent top deck. Um, yeah, let's get rid of these two. We can play everything else down. We'll go ahead and get a Buzzwall. Um, I just, I mean, in this matchup, it seems to be good. The only problem is, is they're playing a lot of disruption. Um, so we're probably looking at um, probably gonna just try to stall us out um, and we don't hit the float stone which is problematic but we'll go ahead and just hit done and we'll see how what we can do for next turn uh, one thing about this deck that I think might be better is just adding a couple nest balls in here because it feels like I can't really get trubbishes down very often and we're playing four trubbishes so um, that's kind of good that he wasted a field blower on that already though he might just try to use a rangaroo here um, he's gonna end I'm actually okay with this in here uh, we see it we play nine energies and in that hand we got energy logged um, it's really weird sometimes I almost wonder if I should just go in on a Zorark here and just start sledgehammering like we did in the last game. I feel like Zorark control is much more tricky though uh, just because they have a lot of um, a lot of tools to to win with. Might also want to just try to KO the Oranguru but I would need either Diancy or um, okay, um, would need either Diancy or um, 
at or another strong energy oh boy this one is kind of tough um, you know what I think I want to continue getting set up though I think playing the Guzma is kind of greedy so I think I want to continue to get set up and I almost wonder if I should attempt to get Garbo Toxin online here. The only thing is, is these are all tough discards also. Um, man. Yeah, I don't like these discards, but I am going to get Garbo Toxin online here. And see if we can slow him down. We do have a supporter for next turn, so that's good. And we'll sledgehammer. That's not going to be a knockout, but um, you know he has no abilities unless he has a fill blower, and he already blew two resources to one fill blower. Um, I would think they're probably running two fill blowers, and obviously they're running puzzles. Um, but he might just have a hand of item cards that can't help him this turn. And if that's the case, um, we might be able to get the Garbotoxin to stick along with the Shrine of Punishment. Okay, so there is a puzzle. Is it a single puzzle or a double puzzle? It's, I would think it's a double puzzle, but and he might be stuck. Um, let's see. No, it is a single Puzzle. Okay, I mean double puzzle. So he does get the fill blower back, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, he's already—that means he's already given up um, two resources. Um, he probably is going to use Macargo to get a Guzma, and I'm actually not too. I'm not. I don't really necessarily have a problem with that. No, he's going to Cynthia. Okay. All right, so maybe an E hammer. Um, yeah, I think this is kind of a tough matchup for us. We've got because if he gets, if he starts, well, if he uses resource management here, though. I may be able to, I mean, I'll be able to take a knockout. He'll probably, he'll put two puzzles back and maybe a field blower. He's got a float stone. Okay, so he's coming in. Okay, he's going to take a knockout. Wow, he got everything he needed. That's amazing. Uh, but that's kind of what Zorart Control does. All right. Alright, so we're going to put the Garboder up. Um, uh, we can rescue Stretcher. This guy back. Um, we'll go ahead and fill blower. And uh, maybe I should have put a Rangaroo up. Go ahead and instruct for one get one card out of it um okay we'll go ahead and instruct for another one okay not bad and then we'll Cynthia here hopefully we can hit a float we don't so um this Garbotoxin is going down but we will be on our sledgehammer turn unless he takes a knockout on the buzzwall two three four five six seven he's got seven items in the discard Let's see an evo soda that's eight see a smooth over I'm almost certain this is gonna be for a 
Well, does he have another devoured field? That's the question. And I think the Garbotoxin is the biggest threat right now. So I'd be really surprised if he gives me up the Buzzwool. Because um, then he is potentially giving up the Garbotoxin threat. Yeah, we've got a lot of threats on the board, which is actually kind of cool. That's number nine for his items. So we're getting close to being able to trash lamp for a knockout also. So we've got a lot of threats right now on the board, and this is looking to be a pretty decent board. All right, we see a DCE. And we see the riot is beating. So we will be able to take two prizes off this Zorark here. So we're sitting in a very good position right now. Um, we'll go ahead and play. Unfortunately, that fill bore is not level. But I, so we can't use instruct at all. But I really think we're sitting in a very nice position because um, we've got three threats on the board. Um, now, I will say in is a problem for us. Uh, but it's very possible that we could just run through these Zoroarchs. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is 180, and a choice band is 210. But then we have to worry about. Um, resistance so one You've gotta be careful not to deck out though you can take a knockout on the lele though there's another lele I'm gonna see the Guzma okay so they do th realize that the trash lanch is the bigger threat Oh, yeah, they're getting that for next turn. That's interesting. All right. Um, let's just put a trash lanch. It gives us the most options here. Um, all right. We can top deck another fill blower. Wonderful. All right. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Um,. Nine. All right, we've got a shot here. We've got a literal shot. Well played. I think they, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm still not convinced that we're gonna win because of the fact that they're gonna end this turn and then we're gonna be like how do we find and then they'll Guzma next turn they have six cards I'm certain they're gonna end I'd be really surprised if they don't they'll take the knockout on the Garboder and this is just the problem with Zorark um, Unless they've already given up all their ends. There's two ends in the discard. Um, maybe they don't play a third one. And, I mean, there's two puzzles in the discard. So the problem is, I mean, if he does, if we don't see an end here, then we'll, we can, we'll definitely win. Um, what we need regardless is a rainbow energy oh, these these field blowers were so bad oh if we could have gotten anything but them all right Zerua field blower okay I wasn't expecting that um, that shrine really bothers them though so uh, oh, I guess they needed another bench setter just to take a knockout. 
all right so let's see how this match how this match finishes are we gonna see an end there's the fill blower please stop putting me in suspense oh all right oh and i think that's a game right one two three four five or three four five six ten eleven eleven and we will say well played eleven is 220 plus the ten so uh, 200 yep we got it right on the dot I think and there we go guys so anyway um, this is the list from ARG tell me what you guys think it's kind of interesting but like I said sometimes it just draws things out of order we got really lucky getting those trash lanches to finish the game off um, but anyway tell me what you think of this and always uh, hit like um, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, leave a comment below uh, I really really appreciate comments and I usually try to respond to every single one of them so uh, until next time Pokey Dad signing out goodbye